guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Foundation Week. Today is the first day of Foundation Week. I'm so excited. I've been doing this for a while here on my channel. You guys seem to really, really enjoy it. Basically, every single day for seven days straight, that means no breaks, you're gonna get a new foundation review from me. And this time around, we're going to focus on powder foundations because I feel like there's not enough powder foundation reviews out there, especially not for someone with normal dry skin like I do. So I picked out a bunch, I picked out seven powder foundations that could possibly work for someone that has dry skin and I'm gonna try them out for you guys. So we're going to be wearing them all day. I'm going to be telling you what the company claims. Let's see if they actually does what the company claims. I'm gonna be bringing you guys in really close during checkup so you can see how my face looks, all of my crevices, everything you're going to see because I don't put a filter on my camera. We're gonna see if it oxidizes because yes, powder foundations can oxidize. We're going to see how these foundations look swatched to other foundations. So you can kind of see like the color and all of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna be doing a lot in this video, but I hope you guys really enjoy the whole entire week. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of my videos. Make sure you hit the like if you are excited for foundation week, especially powder foundation. And yes, the highly requested Makeup Forever foundation is going to be coming up, you guys. So I'm going to be alternating between high-end drugstore, high-end drugstore like that. I'm going to be starting out with a drugstore foundation that I'm so excited. I don't know what it is about Revolution, but I'm obsessed with their brand. Even though almost all of the Revolution Conceal and Define foundations have not worked for me, I'm obsessed with trying out all of their new foundations. So today we're trying out the Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation. And I know it says it's a satin matte, but it says it has with hyaluronic acid. So I have dry skin, hyaluronic acid is a key for dry skin. So this should be good for someone that has dry skin. So we'll see, look at how gorgeous this packaging is. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely caught my eye because of how beautiful it was um and i am in the shade p8 here so this is what we're going to be trying out today make sure you come back tomorrow for another powder foundation video and let's just get started putting this on my face so i completely forgot to film the part where i talk about what revolutions powder foundation claims to do so that's why my makeup's all done because this is later, but uh, let me do that right now. So it retails for $11 on the Ulta website. I'll link it below. I'm the shade P8. This is what Revolution claims. It says, it's time to welcome the Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation by Makeup Revolution. The base to all great makeup looks, open the sleek rose gold compact to reveal a velvety soft pressed powder formula Complete with an application sponge and mirror, it is also the perfect travel size for on-the-go touch-ups. The customizable finish is buildable for light to medium coverage in the areas you need that touch of extra coverage. In the areas you need that touch of extra coverage. Apply one of the Conceal and Define concealers. Complete the look with a finishing spray to make it all last all day. It's cruelty-free and vegan. So even in the like revolution details, they say use a spray to kind of finish it off to make it last all day. But honestly, powder foundation, I feel like using a spray just really melts it all into the skin and finishes it all up and makes it wearable and not cakey. So anyways, let's go to the swatches of this powder foundation and I'm gonna be swatching it next to liquid foundations and some powder foundations that I own, but mostly liquid foundations, so you can see if you are a certain color in a liquid foundation, what it's going to look compared to this right here. And yeah. Okay, so here are the swatches. This one right here is the Revolution Fast Base in F8, which is supposed to be the same shade as the Revolution Powder Foundation in P8. So you can tell that they're pretty much the same. I mean, just the finish, obviously. This one's powder, this one's cream. But this one right here is the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation in Natural Beige. This one right here is the True Match Powder Foundation in N4. This here is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Sublime Foundation. 
and that shade is light medium 14 which is an olive shade this one is the Too Faced Born This Way in Natural Beige. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in Golden Beige. So these are all my matches. This one you can tell, I mean, you can tell Revolution goes a little bit like almost peachy. It's not very yellow or gold toned, but that's that. Now for powder foundation, you guys, it's a little bit different. I have been testing out different primers, different setting sprays to go with powder foundation because I really want this to be, um, I really want to give powder foundation the best chance possible. Now, powder foundation, I feel like I don't think it's wearable for anyone unless you have some sort of a setting spray. So I will be setting half of my face. Um, with the mac fix plus the entire time because i feel like for dry skin you really need a setting spray to really mush everything together and that's just how it is with powder foundations um i also feel like with powder foundations you have to really put on a really good primer um if you have dry skin because i don't i mean you're never if you have dry skin you're not just going to find a powder foundation you can just put on and be good out the door with your powder foundation that's just not going to happen so you have to have a good primer and you have to have a setting spray and that's what's really going to make powder foundation wearable for those that have dry skin now that's my personal opinion that's what i found so every day this week i'm going to be using the syatt um watermelon burst hydrating primer i feel like this is a pretty good one across the board and i'm going to be setting it with the uh mac fix plus because i feel like that's just would be fair i can't just put on powder foundation and say let's see if this works you know what i mean like that wouldn't be fair to the product. I'm gonna start off with my primer, the Watermelon Burst. Um, let's start with that. I'm also gonna be using the same brush. Uh, my favorite powder foundation brush is the Amazon uh, Tarte the Tarte Powder Foundation Brush. That's what I'm gonna be using for all of them. Okay, so I'm first gonna start with concealer underneath the eyes, and this is just the Hourglass Fawn. I'm gonna be setting that with a Peach Perfect powder, and then I'll go in with the rest there. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution P8. And it does have a puff, so I guess I'll try a puff on this side and then I'll dry my brush on the other side. Um, but let's just get started here. Whoa, feels like it's really soft. Ooh, I hope this doesn't oxidize. Revolution foundations are notorious for oxidizing on me. They don't oxidize on everybody, but on me, yeah, they oxidize. A spray it. Okay. This ended up looking a little bit pink orange, but there it is with the little sponge. You can kind of see that. Now I'm gonna go in with my tart brush for the other side. I can definitely say that this is a full coverage because it really is kind of getting rid of all of my spots and whatnot. Okay, so this is how it ended up looking before I use a spray. I'll make sure to get a really close shot and show you guys really close up. But I'm gonna first finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back and we'll spray it and I'll show you like the difference between non-spray non and spray. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set this side of the face so you guys can see how the powder foundation would look. Okay, so this side I set and this side I didn't so you guys could see. Um, even without setting it, this powder actually looks nice. But this really helps kind of mush it into the, the powder, kind of mush into the skin. And I definitely recommend that anytime you're using powder foundation. Okay, so I finished the rest of my makeup. And as you guys saw, I did end up spraying half of my face. So this is the side that I sprayed. And this is the side that I didn't spray. I just figured that I'd do this because even though I think you should definitely always have a setting spray whenever you use powder foundation. I know you guys would probably be curious to see what it would look like if you didn't use a spray. So that's why I'm just doing half of my face. Um, but let's take a look of how it looks without a spray. I'll show you guys that clip. Um, I felt like it didn't look overly dry. I've tried powder foundations that just look absolutely horrible. This didn't look too bad. I'm not gonna lie, I have a couple of breakouts where I have some dry spots in those areas, but I didn't feel like it clinged to anything in particular. Um, I felt like it looked nice. I definitely think now, I do always love setting spray though whenever I'm using a powder foundation. So um, I'll show you guys the side that has a spray. I feel like it just mushed the powder a lot better. It just looks really smooth on that side and just it just looks really nice and smooth and satiny. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this powder foundation is really, really, really nice. Um, the side that I set doesn't look cakey um, and it looks finished and beautiful like you can't even tell that I'm wearing powder foundation. Um, I think it looks really really nice. I'm very impressed so far with this foundation. I'm very 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 impressed because this is a drugstore affordable foundation. It is a satin matte but still has hyaluronic acid. I can definitely see how that would work for dry skin. Like I, I definitely, I like this formula. It's really, really nice. I like this way better than the Maybelline Superstay, which is what I have been trying out like all week long. This is really nice, smooth formula. I'm really excited to wear this all throughout the day. Now I do have, I do live in Rhode Island where it's super humid. So that might do something to the foundation if you live somewhere where it's drier. Um, Keep that in mind just keep that in mind that where i live it's really humid here but uh anyway so far i'm really liking it if you're wondering what i put on my face like blush bronzer lipstick i'll put it all down below in the description box i'll also put a huge list of foundations that match me if you're trying to shade match down below in the description box so go check that out and yeah we'll i'll see you guys in a little bit okay so it's now been five hours i'm gonna bring you in really close to look don't forget this side of the face I did spray the MAC Fix Plus and this side of the face I did not. So let's bring you guys in really close and see how it looks. So I can tell you right off the bat and I've been checking up on it um, throughout the day that the side that I sprayed definitely looks 10 times better. It just looks like it's melted in. Honestly it looks like a normal foundation would it doesn't look like it's a powder I wouldn't be able to tell um, but on this left side it definitely does look powdery and um, cakey uh, and I would not wear this without without a spray now even on the spray side I don't know if it's because I didn't I didn't get very well like around the lip area but it does look a little drier on the lip area it's not as smooth and satiny as I wish but like straight on my cheek, I really love how it looks there. I think it looks really gorgeous there. Um, that's how it looks right now. I mean, draw your own conclusions. You can see it. I'm going to leave it on till the very end of the night and I'm gonna have a long day today. So probably, I'll probably wear it for like 12 hours, if not more. And I'll check in with you guys and we'll see how it looks at that time. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation and how it looks. Don't forget this side I sprayed and this side I did not use a facial spray. So let's bring you guys in really close so you can see for yourself. 
honestly, now is the time that you can really tell the difference between the two sides and between, and between the side that I used the setting spray and the side that I didn't because the side that I didn't, I feel like looks just more powdery and the other side just looks more blended and more smooth. Also, my nose um, and my forehead, I have some dry spots there and the side that I did not spray has some really bad dry spots. Um, as you can see so it definitely looks nice the cup the coverage is still there which I'm super impressed I have not noticed it's transferring um, I have not noticed it transferring the coverage is still there I would say medium full coverage um, and it just looks really really nice and personally I like the foundation I would give it a 7 out of 10 stars for sure i think it's really nice i think that the color itself doesn't look too odd on my skin like the skin shade itself doesn't look too odd um also i personally really like when you spray it i've mentioned it before the entire video and i'm going to continue to mention it you need a setting spray i feel like the mac fix plus is a good universal setting spray but i mean the morphe one's a good one the elf is a good one also, you guys, I don't feel like you have to have a specific brush for this. I feel like the puff in here just really transferred the foundation on really nicely and really smoothly onto my skin. Um, I feel like sometimes the powder foundation looks good with the puff. Sometimes a, a brush like this, it's really dense, just works really, really well. Um, but yeah, I found that with this foundation, the puff worked really well, worked really smooth, kind of sliding it on there. All in all, you guys, I really like it. This is a really good powder foundation. I'm very, very impressed. I feel like it's beginner friendly and it's nice. Um, very, very smooth. And if you have dry skin, this is definitely a good option from the drugstore. Uh, like I said before, I like this better than the Superstay. Wow, my hair is crazy right now. I love this better than the Superstay. I love this better than the L'Oreal True Match. This is just a really, a pretty good powder foundation. The only reason I gave it seven stars other than 10 stars is because their shade, Revolution's shade range is just crazy. Like the undertones that they have. This is P8, which is gonna be my best match for just all around. I'm not tan or anything right now. This is just my regular true self, I guess. And they're, just I'm not a big fan of the undertones that they put under there I wish that this was a little bit more yellow and less peachy do I mean why well, I wish that they had like an olive shade or something like that then it would be a 10 out of 10 but for a drugstore I'm super impressed the packaging is gorgeous um, the puff worked great I do like that there is like a plastic cover here so that when I open it you know there's not like a huge mess or anything like that and that the powder puff just is on top rather than having a whole nother contraption underneath I don't like that uh, I hope you guys are excited for powder foundation week I am so excited for tomorrow's foundation you guys have to come back tomorrow for a high-end powder foundation test out Give me a like if you like my foundation week. Subscribe, you guys. Join the family. Share this video with your friends. Get people coming over to check out my channel and see my videos. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you continue to have a wonderful week. And uh, also comment below and tell me your favorite powder foundation or powder foundation that you want me to try sometime in the future. Comment below and tell me. I guess I will just see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye.